Hey everybody, welcome back to Bird Squawk. I've got a couple hour newborn baby here. As you can see, it's hatched out of its egg. It kicks this way. You guys have heard me talk about this before. The babies will kick their way around the outside of that and kick that out. And this is the little guy we got right now. We need to feed him. And we've let him go a few hours. And that's what you want to do. You want these babies to go a few hours before you feed them. And then I'm going to show you today how we go ahead and we feed this baby for the first time. I'm going to put him in this little cup here. Get rid of this egg and shell. And we also have five other babies in here that we have hatched out as well. So I want to show you the differences in the sizes and the different, there's kind of stages here. And the oldest one here is maybe two weeks to something like that old. The youngest one's maybe about a week old, so you can really see the difference in how they change from the time they're hatched to the time they're maybe a week and a half to two weeks old. I'd have to look exactly on the dates. And then we're going to feed them, we're going to clean their bowls, and um, I'm going to also show you uh, us making formula. So I want to get started on that right now. So we use a hand feeding formula. Um, we like this brand. It, we're not sponsored by this brand. Uh, if they want to sponsor us, we'd welcome that. Uh, we, we use so much of it. But anyway, we take this hand feeding formula and uh, you want, you know, depending on how many birds you have, and you want to do this. Now what I do is I use tap water, but when I'm looking to get this tap water, I use a thermometer like this. This is actually for cooking, and but it works great for testing the water and testing the food. The last thing you want to do is get this food too hot, and you can get this food too cold. If this food gets too cold and you put it in there, they're going to have bacteria in them, bad bacteria, too much, and they can get yeast infections and crop infections and things like that. So you want to make sure that the water that you're using gets to a certain temperature so it kills that bacteria first. However, that's hot enough that it would burn a hole in the baby's crops, and we don't want to do that. So I want to show you what we do. So we're going to get this water pretty hot, all right? So we got our gauge here. Can you see this? Can you see the gauge? And I don't know if it's because of the sun. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but I'll just tell you what it is. So right now, this temperature of this water is around 130. Of course, you would never, ever put that into a baby. Never. Way too hot. It would probably kill them instantly. So we're going to say around 125, 120 to 125. We're 123 right there. That's fine. So that's the water I'm going to use to put with my mix, okay? And I'm going to just mix this up. We want it to be kind of the consistency of applesauce, maybe a little more runny than that, okay? You can see what it's going. Now this will expand, okay? This will expand, and we're going to let that expand, and then we're going to let this cool down because we can't give them 123 degree food. It would it would probably kill them. Definitely burn a hole in their crop. And so we're going to mix this up, and you can see it's starting to get a little thicker. Okay, and as, the, as it sits for a little bit, it gets thicker and thicker. So now we can check this again and see where we're at. And now we're about 107, 108. Okay, but that water coming out of there was hot enough that if there was any bacteria in the water, it would kill it. All right, so now we're down to 108, and that's fine. You could feed a bird at 108. And I'm just going to move this around a little bit. So it, it cools just a little bit more. All right, and now we'll check it again. And now we're more like 105, okay? And that's really where I like to be is 105. All right, now we're gonna take our syringe. I usually keep a little water in them and they stay lubricated that way. All right, so I'm gonna suck a little of this up in here, kind of clean the tip a little bit. Now. I, I always want to make sure that there's no old food in that tip. So I put a little food through there. Now let's take a look at this guy. He's ready to be fed. He's ready to be fed. This little guy knows nothing of that yet because he's never been fed. 
So I want to show you what we got, and I want to show you just how tiny these guys are. You want to be very gentle. And if you'll notice how I'm holding him, I'm holding very little pressure here and very little pressure here. But I'm holding him to where he won't get away. I'm holding him to where the food is going to come down this side. And it's going to go into his crop, okay? And we'll see that happen. But this guy doesn't know how to eat yet, okay? And also, I don't know if we can get close enough or not and let it come into focus. Can you see his egg tooth? Let me back out a little bit. Kind of hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, that's his egg tooth right there. That's what he pecks and makes a hole in that egg. That's what he uses. That will go away. So now I'm just putting a drop in there. Okay, you can see him trying to swallow. I just put a drop is all I did. And at the beginning, you can see it coming down through here. See it going down right through there? That's what we're looking for. This bird already has food in his crop now. He's wanting to eat, so I'm going to let him eat a little more. Look at that. Can you see that the bird's got food in his crop? For right now, I'm going to give him just a little bit more. Just a taste. And I'm going to leave him. Now, that's his first feeding ever, okay? And so now you just keep him warm and go back to it, okay? And he's fine. So what you want to look for on that bird is, you know, is that empty? And then you want to look for poop in here. I'm going to turn this water off again. All right, so now let's move up a little bit. We put this back in here. I'm going to stir this real quick. Pull up a fresh tube. And now we're going to grab up one of these. Okay, this guy's crop is almost empty. So I don't want this crop going completely empty all day. It's pretty empty, though. All right, so I want to keep it. I want to keep food in there all day long so that at night it can go empty and all of that food flushes out and any of that uh, uh, formula doesn't stay in there and sour. That's why you want them to go empty once a day, once only, though. This guy's pretty close to being empty now, but he's got a little. Now, can you see the food going down on the right side of its neck? Okay, and it gets a little messy. But you notice this bird's about a week old. And they want to flop around. That's why I gently hold them like this. I try to get their feet in. And then I hold them like that. And just go from the side. And you'll see that food come down. And give them a break. Okay? Just give them a break. But notice how, how easily they feed. This one's actually, I think, a day younger than the one we just fed. This guy's about empty, too. So we, we're just getting these guys in time. This is perfect. So, again... Once they learn from the beginning, and you see this, you see that air, guys? We've had this conversation many, many times. Don't worry about it. They'll work that out. They'll probably work out while we're sitting, while we're feeding them here. They swallow. They get air in them. Okay? They work it out. See, he's even got more air in there right now. But that's okay. He'll work it out. He did. Most of it's gone already. All right? Now we're going to move up the, like a day... This one's, well, he's almost empty too. Look, their eyes are open on this one. And again, once you learn, you learn and see that bobbing up and down, that's what you want to see. That tells me that bird is swallowing, okay? And if you see bubbles or anything like that, that means give him a break. You know, he didn't see any bubbles, but that means he's trying to breathe. And you want to just give him a break. Again, small amount of air in there. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll go like this. There you go. Look, he's got quite a bit of air in there. That's okay. It will come out. He'll work it out. Look at that. See that air pocket? No big deal. It's already getting smaller. See it? Don't worry about it. If it stays in there for three or four days, we might have a problem. But when you're feeding them, they're going to swallow some air. Okay? There is a way to get that out. And I, I hesitate to show people sometimes because you got to be very careful with it. I can do it. I can massage that air out of there, but uh, you know that's that's me. And uh, and and with all of these videos, I'm just showing you guys what I do. I'm not I'm not suggesting you do it this way. I'm not suggesting anything like that. But I am. You know, we've done this for 30 years. And then see the food coming out. That's okay. Wipe that off. We're gonna get a little water here. Just get our fingers wet and kind of clean him up a little bit. 
all right and there's still air in there too but you know what he's done he's got enough that one's done so they're all done look at this guy he's just laying he's just laying he's chilling out he's got the food he's he's good to go all right i'm not going to bore you guys with me cleaning these uh but what i do want to talk about is two things um i'm getting lots of requests to show you how i built this incubator this is an incubator that i built it's just a cooler um, it has a light bulb for heat source and it has a fan uh, to keep air circulating and so a lot of people are asking about this i use this a lot um, and then i i regulate the temperature because i can turn the light bulb up and down okay now I'm not suggesting if you're not handy with electrical work and things like that that you try this because you do have to wire this thing up. But let me know if you guys want to see that. I've had some requests for it. I've also had some requests to show how to build the, our nest boxes and how to set up an actual breeder cage. And we've got some new cages. The aviary is expanding and we're going to uh, be building some of those. So if you want to see a video of that kind of stuff, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know uh, whether you want to see the, you want to get another, uh, or actually think about building a bigger one. And so maybe with two lights with a warmer and cooler side. And so um, let me know. Let me know what you guys want. Let me know how your birds are doing. Uh, if you have questions, please uh, uh, feel free to drop them in, in the comments. And please hit like, subscribe. Uh, it is helping. Uh, we are getting lots more um, uh, subscribers, and I can't believe that, you know, people want to tune in and watch us, but they do, and it's great, and we love you guys, and uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll keep making bird videos for you. We love you. Take care.